also owns a number of other mega cap tech stocks. George, thus far from, from these numbers, what do we see, what can we infer about this shift toward efficiency uh, and, and an ad model that we're looking for from Netflix and perhaps some others? Yeah, they've obviously got a long way to go. They got a lot of work to do and a lot of heavy lifting and, and uh, they got to get out their shovels and start digging pretty hard. If you ask me looking at this, it's, it's a big lift. It's a big company and they're going to miss numbers quite a bit. And they've got to take their, their, their avalanche of free cash flow and figure out good ways to use it. And one of those I would think would be not just content, but buying that stock. I think if they're going to show the earnings growth and the, and the other growth that the street wants to keep this stock up, they're going to, they're going to have to use the, the buybacks as, as a methodology of doing that. But you know, the stock's doubled in the last 12 months. I mean, it's had a huge run. It was due to pause, and it's having a healthy pause today. Uh, I think you said you're not planning on uh, buying any more of this stock. Is that right? Why is that? Because it's had such a huge run. It's gone from basically low teens multiples to mid to high 20s multiples of earnings, and, and that's that's a huge run. And he, You know, the old cliche down here, pigs get fat and hogs get slaughtered. You don't want to insist on too much of a move out of a stock that probably won't have it. That's the way you lose a lot of your gains. So we're definitely not adding, but we're, we're not we're not getting rid of it either. Our, our team really likes the company and thinks it's, it's a really franchise business and it'll be a good one to hold for a long time to come. George, I keep hearing what sound like some pretty lofty expectations of what Netflix can do in this ad-supported business. Do you have high expectations of what they're going to be able to do and how soon do they have to deliver based on the stock that you're holding on to? I really don't have huge expectations. It's a massive pivot for them to go from their former model to offering this as well. And I think time is going to tell how successful they're going to be. And I think we're going to find out, and the board of directors is going to find out how good management is. This is this is a, a test worthy of man, management steal. And how many new people in this new program they add over the next two or three years will, will tell a lot of the tale in terms of where this stock's going. But I think it's a core position. I really do. I just think that you're going to have some ups and downs because – the street is so focused on the quarterly numbers, and they do disappoint at times. Uh, and we'll see if this is a disappointment or not, down about 3.5% so far after hours, after being down about 10. George, thank you.